Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timber Bond Z. Where the, uh, the timber fighters, the beaver fighters, the timber born beaver fighters are doing great things. <laughs> well, sort of. We did this last episode. That took all of the episode to accomplish. <laughs> Oops. That took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but that's fine. That means this is going in, so that's good. Um, and hopefully this is going to be following in shortly behind it, so that'll be even better. So we could start, uh, you know, taking advantage of all the water so it doesn't just flow off the side of the map. Which is very good, because we like to save as much water as be really possible. That probably means we might need to raise this side up. Probably not. Actually, we shouldn't have to do that. This should fill in this side fairly easily, and then that can help us with our, our next plan which is this. Now, I think we need to get some beavers over here to do all of that. Now, I don't know if I want to actually incorporate the uh, the primary district to do all that because I think I want the primary district to be focusing on power because all of that is going to need a lot of power. So that means probably working on this over here. That's going to take some time. That's going to take some effort, some beaver ingenuity, a lot of explosives, and a lot of dirt. Which, uh, as you saw the last time around, that we're kind of running low on the dirt production here. Which means we should probably get that rectified and soon. And probably dip into this system right here. If I could find it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So probably cap that off. And then we can feed that into this system right here. And then that can flow into here and that can add to our power system. Which should be good. But... That also means that we need to do all the things in order to actually take advantage of that, which means blasting this out, blasting this out, and then filling this in right here so that that doesn't, uh, so that we can have a bit of a straight shot. We'll probably curve it out around like this. And so we'll put two, or two more, I think, right here, and then have that curve this way. And then that can be basically our power production for now. Until we start doing like super mega power projects, which is probably going to start off up here. Now I want to once all of this is taken out uh, out of commission, we can basically create like a massive pool where all of the the bad water fills into a, a singular spot somehow. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. <laughs> it's probably gonna look like a giant weird T shape thing, and then that's gonna fill into like a massive. Uh, shoot that that'll go out this way and then we'll wrap around a couple times probably come up and then split in two separate directions so that we can take full advantage of the system as a whole instead of just having I think it's 10 or 13 in a row going one way so we'll do uh, up and 13 this way with a little drop off and then same over here and then we'll just wrap back and forth all the way until the edge of the map which this should be where we'll shoot the rest of the bad water off that's going to require a lot of dirt that's going to require a lot of beavers and probably a lot of working around the clock and that's going to be like our super mega build probably towards the end of the series here as a whole and then uh while that's working in the background we could probably set off or separate off a separate a separate district so have like timber bots working on this in the future and then we'll have uh, regular beavers working on uh, our metal topia and i think metal topia would be pretty cool maybe just over this entire area Blast all this down to the actual, like, lowest depth of the system here. And then on top of all of that, we'll put in the metal platforms and we'll put in all the fun things for them to do. And in here, they can, uh, we'll somehow finagle in all of their, like, water activities. So the swimming pool and then get all the fun things like that going. And of course, some of the things do require to be put on land. So we'll probably bump up against this little terrace right here, this plateau and get some of our additional fun things up here but that's uh that's for much later on because that requires a lot of metal and we don't have the capacity for that yet one because this hasn't gone in yet at all they haven't touched it in about three hours worth of game time now to be fair i have been putting them on a lot of different other tasks so it kind of makes sense that they're not touching that um 
you know, when everything's a priority, nothing is. That that uh, that mantra still applies here, guys. Even if we don't believe it does, it doesn't apply. It does. We've got to accept the reality here, whether you want to or not. Reality will win, and the beavers will just have to deal with it. <laughs> Sadly, that being the case, let's go ahead and get the uh, the one-time speed going. Let's see how things are moving. We can check things out. We still got. Oh, they did get these in, so that's good. So we have science moving in the right direction. Probably need to check on the actual power draw now. So we might have to turn on a few more of these. And at some point, I want to move this out of here and put in our last two, um, our last two engines back in here. That's going to require some gears, some planks, and some metal blocks, which. We have the gears and the planks probably running a little low on the metal box, but uh, that's, a, that's a problem that we need to solve. And also, we need to expand our industry. We're not, or somehow break into bots, and I want to shove that industry in here somewhere. I just, I'm not sure where that needs to go. Maybe, maybe the bot industry can be on this side. <clears throat> That'll require putting in some, uh, some plank or not planks some engines over here so probably blast all this down so it's all on the single singular level and then um maybe flip this around and then put the the bot manufacturer or the bot the bot part manufacturing over here and then the bot uh assemblers over here as well and that can feed right into our like our, our metal depots over here so all of our our smelters can be over here part of this system as well um this is pretty far as far as like the overall uh pathing distance though so that's gonna be a problem uh for us to solve but that's okay we can deal with that when push comes to shove looking at this though i think i think what we can do actually at some point is probably put some more platforms in here so that, that can save some of our beavers time uh, this is getting cleared out slowly but surely though, so that's good. I don't think any of the actual builders have come over and cleaned any of this out. I think just the farmers have been doing the job. So that's good. That means we're not actually losing out on any of that food stuff. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think uh, things are looking pretty nice. Like I'm really excited about this. The... Uh, the explosives are going in nice and slowly. Uh, well, of course, they are because it's at one time speed. That's to be anticipated. And this district is finally cut off. Um, so the only thing that these guys are doing is just pulling out all of this bad water. So we've got two bad water pumps running up here. And all that's basically feeding into that. And then the, the uh, district crossing guys are just sitting here. They're going up here. They're pulling that out. And they're pushing that over here. And then we probably need to plus up the amount of beavers that we have on this side to help facilitate the movement of all of those uh, materials all the way up here and then all the way across the world to these little uh, uh, reservoirs, tanks, words. Uh, that's the right word. Into those tanks. But that's going to require some, some time. And maybe maybe what we could do is uh, put some put a tank like right here for bad water. And then that can just be haulers doing that. So they don't have to trek all the way across the world. Because if we look here, it's red. That's red. We don't like how red that is. So that's not good for us. It's not good for the beavers because it wastes a lot of their time. We don't like doing that. I know none of this is optimized. But in any way that we can try to make things work a little bit better is a good thing for us. But that all being said, we've been staring off into the, to space doing nothing. Let's go ahead and kick this up off to three speed. And then we can start planning some of this out. So I want to get down here. Which means hitting that button right there, pathing over here, and then we need to fill this in with dirt. Uh, probably actually tear this out first. We can tear that out. Um, fill all of this in with dirt. If we do that, then we can probably pull this out a little bit further so we can put in more... Um, more mangrove bushes, which would be good because we're we're or not mangrove bushes, mangrove trees. So we're not we're really doing that well in the mangrove production, which is kind of annoying. I don't like that uh, for us. But let's go ahead and do something like this. Nope, not that last line. Come on, game. Don't get a little. Don't get too happy on me. Don't get too clicky happy. 
And then we're going to have to blow this down by two, like so. And then probably... So that'll give us space for two more right here pretty easily. We're going to have to get over here to uh, probably put in some more levees. We could do levees or dirt. We have plenty of logs now, so we could do levees for now. We're still shy on the dirt production. We might have to at some point actually increase that. But we're hurting on... We're hurting on our beavers because we keep injuring them. So that means while they're working on this and while we're while they're doing that, let's go ahead and finish some more of this out. So I like this path layout as a whole right now. So probably going to keep some of that intact, honestly. And then we can maneuver that as necessary sorry I'm mildly distracted while i'm staring at the water just to make sure that everything got in there um that's gonna so let's see we don't like that so let's do something like this and then we line it up with that maybe or if we line it up with this that'd be less dirt for us to have to lay and then yeah, I think I like that idea. So we're going to line that up with that line right there. So that'll come and bring it out to here. And then over here. And you go over two more, actually. So you can do things right the first time. And you don't have to go back and destroy everything. Me, come on now. I know how to Dougie. I don't. Don't. I, I really don't know how to Dougie. <laughs> um... So that should go like that. There we kind of go. I think that that looks okay. It's not the best. Um, now, if I wanted to, you know, get into the, the two to three to one to, to make all of the pretty circles and everything, I should. I probably should do that. Um, but I am lazy, <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I probably could just make it match this, honestly. That would probably be the smart maneuver. But I, again, again, I've never claimed to be the smart one here, so, uh, yeah, there's that. But I can, I can do quasi-rational stuff, so maybe we could do something like that. So let's go like that. Yes, delete that. Delete that, uh, delete that, that, that. And I'm just gonna be saying delete that, that, and that, and that a lot. So let's not do that anymore. And let's go like this. And I need a bit more of a harsher curve here. That looks a little bit better. And then fill this in to match that. And we're gonna have to drop this down one level like so. And that shouldn't be that much of a pain. And then fill this little corner in here. Fill that little corner in. And then that should work out just nicely enough. And then we can somehow... We could probably tear this out. And then just work our way over here. Put some dynamite down. And that can blow out uh, where our line is going to be. This is going to have to fill out this way a smidge. And then here's where we're going to start. We, we could start putting in our uh, power wheels or water wheels over here. Okay, that's all being accomplished. Let's see, we've got one spare beaver floating around over here. So we can drop that priority and turn this back on. Um, go ahead and drop it to that priority. And probably... Not that one. That one. Raise that priority. There we go. So that should keep some builders occupied. And then we should maintain a fair amount of haulers running around and not being uh, unoccupied. So we do have one additional beaver floating around over here. And that probably could fill in over here. So we got Kirby rocking and rolling in there. We do have a beaver that's homeless somewhere. Where do we have a homeless beaver? We have a homeless beaver in this. Uh, oh, yeah, because we expanded this. Okay, 
So that being the case, let's go ahead and throw in an, um, probably not the large barracks, the regular barracks. Actually, not right there. Let's do that guy right now, and then throw in a regular barracks right now, like yeah. that. Give that a priority bump so that, that can get accomplished. Those are going to get filled up pretty fast because we are, we did build these the last time around. This is going in now, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and come in here, and they can tear out these trees. They don't really need to hit those tiny little nubs, but we'll let them work on that as they need to. This uh, is not in because that's the lowest on the priority because it's the last thing to have been put in. This is all in, so that's good. Uh, we're waiting on some... Somebody just come slap this guy. Well, that means they can get down here and start finishing that side up. I'd like them to get this done sooner rather than later. It's already max priority, so they should come over here and finish that soon-ish. We don't need you prioritized anymore because we're not doing dirt there. We can leave dirt here. That's not a problem. And if we wanted to, we could help them out by somehow getting them down here. Maybe. I don't think that would actually help anything. Probably... Yeah, it's no faster. I don't know. But we can throw this in here. They should path in a semi-coherent fashion. That doesn't mean that they'll path in a coherent fashion. Uh, but, you know, that it, it, it'll work out. It'll work out in the end. Okay, so we only have 12, 10. Yeah, bad water is not getting produced as fast as I would like it to be. You're wa waiting on metal blocks. Probably means I don't have metal block storage over here. So that's why you're not getting it. So we can put that in. And with that in right there, they should be able to build some more of these in the future. Which should help us with our bad water. Our lack of bad water. Um, let's check on this. Did I pause these guys over here? I did, so that's cool. Um, okay. So, coming over here. Give this a priority bump because I want to blow this out. That's that's going to. Would it be faster for me to just get somebody over here to freaking chop them down? Probably. Yeah, actually. So let's let's do that. So cancel that destruction. We'll just get somebody in here to chop all that down. That should be able to reach everything. You guys can clear this all out. Probably not faster, but hey, a guy... No, stop putting it in the wrong spot, game. There we go. Sweet. Let's go ahead and put in two just for giggles. Give that a max priority. They can knock that out really fast. And then we can plus this up on the workplace priority. Just so they get filled up. And then that should be good. We do have three days left uh, before the drought ends. Which means we're probably not going to get this finished in time. Which is no bueno. Is that a priority? And this should be... Why aren't... Are we out of logs and planks? No, we're not out of logs and planks. Just they're being relatively slow about it. That just needs somebody to literally slap it. And then that all needs levees. Okay, so that's in. That's good. Um, need explosives. We have 213 explosives. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, they're putting it in the wrong way, guys. You're going the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. It's it's going in. That's all that matters. Um, can't complain too much about that. They just put it in, though, and walked away. They didn't actually accomplish the duty there. Come on, guys. Don't leave me hanging like this. I believe in you, and you're making me look like a goober by not doing what you said you're going to do. You know, do what you say, mean what you say. Is that the song? I don't know. But I'm going to pretend it is. <laughs> Let's see. Last 15 planks, 14 planks. These are waiting on somebody to come say hello. So that's good. We're not going to blow this because, well, they won't have access to that anymore. And with all of that in, 
with all of that in, we can now go boom with this. Make sure nobody's over here. Hit that button. Now we've got a river running through it and a good explosion. Now that looks god awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. But hey, it's okay. You know, that they will survive, the beavers will survive, and we'll have plenty of water to go around. Now, the question is, do I want to do this? The answer is probably yes. And that will keep water from backflowing, I think. And that will allow us to have our um, our forestry, our second tertiary, tertiary forestry up here. So this should keep water in it for a period of time. And if we blast this down one more level, that should hypothetically keep this irrigated for a prolonged period of time. So let's do that. Um, probably... Actually, let's do it right here. Closer to the center. That's not the... Uh, do we want to do two or three? Let's do three. So three deep right there. That's quasi-center-ish. And that should keep the majority of this area irrigated. Hopefully they can get this in within the next 1.7 days so that uh, so we can test that theory. Um, this does need to go up to three, though, all the way. So that should block the water up in here. And that will force the water up through here and through these dams, through this over here, all the way over here, and fill this area up. And then... That will, in turn, fill this side up, and that should, should, in theory, work fairly well. Now, we are going to run into a problem, though. We don't have a, a, fi a sufficient outflow for the water, so we do need to fix that. That needs to get rectified. So that just needs dynamite. That shouldn't be that hard for them to do got 1.3 days so basically one day worth of work left for them to do that that is in here that's good that's good this is almost done just need some logs over here probably now there's no need to change that um do we have extract yeah we have extract for all the things okay that why is that set to oh that is up to obtain never mind that's fine this is fine. Um, I did want to do this over here. So we could do toss this in really easy. Why did I grab the twos? Not the twos, the threes. Now I'm doing this knowing that uh, there is an entire line of <laughs> uh, platforms going in right there. That's a lot of platforms. That's going to eat through a lot of planks and a lot of logs. Um, and they're not going to get to that because I keep telling them to do other projects on top of that and prioritizing stuff like this over here and this. But this being in should help out a lot. I hope. We'll see. So he is... Who is that? Zero Detects. Walking, rocking, and rolling in the free world. We're going to blow that up now. That should be a good little pocket for the water to go in. This does, none of this looks nice, but you know what? It's okay. Now, what I could do is put a, do the same type of situation here. Put a, a dam, like right here as well. And that should fill in here, allegedly, so that when this when this dries out, it, none of this backflows into here. So this should hold water a bit longer, hopefully, maybe, probably not. But a guy could dream. I don't know. Maybe I should blast this down a little deeper. Everybody, I, well, you know what? The deeper water is, the further or the more it can get that out of here let's just do triples again yeah and then 
we'll tear this out, throw some more triple, another triple in, and then so on and so forth. Unconnected building. Yep, that's on me. Get that in there. That should be one unfilled job. You can go work in there, one of the workers there. So that should keep up with the demand. This is going well. That's all in, and there is the end of our drought, which is great. Nothing to do with in range. Yeah, it it totally went faster than me trying to get those guys to tear that out one by onesie twosie. So I will I will call that a win. At least we moved in the right direction over there. I will take that. Not three. I want that at two point five, please. And thank you. The dynamite is in. This last piece needs to go in as well. Give that a max priority so that that can get accomplished here without any issues. And I uh, probably need to tear that out. And that needs to get torn out right there. And you guys need to throw in a, a dam right here. And that needs to be max priority as well. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. That should... That's just filling in right there for a few seconds. This is filling in that little area right there, slowly but surely. So let's see. It's already halfway through day one. And it's not even filled to that part yet. Let's give this a priority bump so they can get over here and do that. And then we can prioritize that just a smidge. That is filling up. Just confirm that's at three. So this should overcap right here in that dam and start filling in that area. And we'll see how well that irrigates this entire area. It should irrigate the entire platform. Should. Okay, let's check on this. They got that in so we can put their path back in. That's good. This shouldn't hurt anybody. And uh, just just a little bit of a, you know, we're, Somebody had a little bit of their hair ruffled, okay? They, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with that land that's now not being able to do anything productive with. Maybe I could... Maybe that's where I can put some more of my uh, mangroves. I don't know. Probably not. My phone is singing. I apologize. We're going to... Not let that happen again. All right, so let's see here. Water is moving in here. That's good. That's filling in there. This is uh, good. This is filling up now on this side. That should cap now. I'm Ron Burgundy. Nope, don't hit the space bar button. Let things actually play out. That is taking its time. But that's okay. Okay, there we go. That's filling in now. And that should start flowing out this side and this side at approximately the same time. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I need to make this into uh, floodgates. That might be the smart move. I'm not entirely sure. But now we've got... That'll be four or five. I think four. This might need to be a bit wider. We'll We'll see. We will see. Um, okay, that's overflowing on that side now. And now that's flowing that way. So that took a day and a half to start flowing out this backside. And that's at, uh, this is at 1.5. We can see what happens if we do this at 3. Let's see what that does. We'll see if that can keep up with the, uh, with the flow capacity. The answer's probably not able to. Because it's, it's, it's a lot of water into a singular outflow port. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, that looks really cool. This entire area over here kind of looks really cool, too. I will allow it. Just look at that. Look at that. Now we have all the water flowing into this system over here. Now we're not missing out on any of it except for... Well, yeah. All of it's going into here. We're not losing a single drop of water yet. That's glorious. So on day two, okay, cool. That's going. How is this coming along? That's just waiting on treated planks, which we are producing. We do have two of those running. 
Probably could help out. So that's a min tempered cycle. So we'll see how that does. How this entire system does with the min tempered cycle. Good thing that side's filling in. That's all happening. That's all going. Now, now that this is in, let's actually destroy this. And let's go ahead and throw in our Singleton Dynamite. And I believe that's where we're going to put our path, just so they can gain access to all that. Probably don't need it, but better safe than sorry for now. Okay, they are bringing all of that in now. Wow. Okay, well, I guess that was the next list, next on the list of priorities, just based off of the, the time that I put that in. So that's good. Um, that means this should be... Okay, and we haven't flooded yet. Yet. I believe it's getting close. Yeah. We're probably about to flood. Hopefully not. Oh, they are putting in these platforms. Let's go. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I love it. That does not need to be prioritized anymore. Um, and none of this is getting accomplished. That's fine. This is all done. That's in. How are we doing on bad water? It's moving in the right direction now. It's in its positive flow now, which is good. This hasn't caused a problem again, so it's probably the reason why we had this massive outflow the last time. Probably was because this thing was so full and it just it couldn't like backflow in properly. That's on me. Just because I completely forgot that that was needed to be done. And I let that become a problem. So, that's not an issue now. But this is just looking a lot nicer than I thought it would. How is this in? That is all in. We can destroy that. Have them come clean this up. And put in our dynamite. And give that a priority jump as well. And that'll be six deep. Is the water actually filling in there? It is. So we probably need... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this probably needs to go, because we're, we're limiting, severely limiting the, uh, the flow of water right here. So let's do that right there. Give that a priority, and that shouldn't cause a problem. But that, uh, yeah, that's not good. We're, we are about to flood, actually. So let's, <laughs> let's relieve the pressure just a smidge. Because that's, <laughs> okay, so this might need to be three or four wide. Um, that's, that's fine. That's at, uh, 1.6 days. So after four and a half days... Water is flowing into this side, finally, with everything moving. So this entire reservoir is full with, uh, what, what do we got? 12 over here, plus another two, so 14 beavers pumping at it. Water's looking pretty good now, actually. I'm, I'm happy about how much water we have in here. And this is going in, and yeah, this is looking really good. I'm very happy with how this is looking. Wow, they have cranked this out. Something fierce. That's, uh... They got a lot of this in. Wow. I am very happy about that. Let's go, guys. You guys are kicking butt over here. I love it. Do you guys have enough dirt coming in? No, you don't. Because you guys are running out of extract, because we're running out of bad water, because yada, 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 yada. All of the things, all of the compounding problems. All because I'm very bad at the whole planning thing. But it's okay. Okay. Everything is allegedly going to be okay. This is fine, as one would say. Don't at me. Cool. That's in. Let's see if... That shouldn't cause any flooding because, well, corners don't exist in this game. That's good. That's in. This is in. That is in. 
So that should... Now, okay, so that's what happens when it's down three. And that's the length of the irrigation when that is full. At least from this area. So it reaches out to about Mia. Now that that's in there, we can destroy that. You guys can empty that out. You can come pick up these logs. And yeah, a river that runs through it is running through it. I guess we could officially call this an aqueduct, but it's not really an aqueduct because, well, it's dirt. It's not made out of logs or, you know, uh, what, what, what do we want to call it? Oh, you guys are going to get stuck. I can see it now. You guys are going to get stuck, and it's going to be sad. Um, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh, you guys are going the long way around to do that, though. Like, the longest of ways to go around to do that. Okay. Can we fix that, maybe? Hmm... Do that there, and then this here, I guess. And then give that a priority bump. They're going to be working on it over here. Might as well make things easier for them, I guess. Right? Maybe that'll help out? I don't know. Give that a max priority. Why not? There's no, there's no reason not to. Okay, so there is the end of our temperate cycle. And now and so that is all in here that should hold for a hot minute this is all that should stop flowing out now and just stay in our reservoir i probably should have saved some water in here by pulling that up but that's okay um we do have two beavers not doing anything where are they in this district okay um uh we could do with more gears i guess so we could send one guy into there and food stuffs um doing good on our canola oil fermented soybeans we need more eggplants what is the hold up on the eggplant stuff is it just do I, I have two running. Mm. You guys are at 26% efficiency. Well, here. Will that help? I don't know if this will help or not, but... We'll turn it on. There's, there's no reason not to. No goods selected. Okay, so I do need to do this now. So you are going to be... Alright, so... One side is going to be all of our like basic materials, right? So that'll be coffee beans, canola seed, and cassava. Or not? Is that cassava? Yeah, cassava. Yeah, cassava. And then here we could do um, corn. You can be eggplant. Then when we get to mushrooms and um algae that can go there then that can be our soybeans i think that's it right so that's eight and i have seven selected where am i missing one uh okay so uh canola seed cassava corn eggplant mushroom Soybean. Uh, am I blind? I feel like I'm being very blind here. Uh, yep, I'm being super blind. I don't know what I'm... Why I can't brain here. I do this every time I do this. Like, I can't actually figure out which one I'm missing. And it's easy. You just play the matching game. Like, there's no need for this to be such pain in the butt. I don't have any coffee storage or coffee bean storage over here because I put it there. That's why it doesn't look right in my brain ball. 
So this can be uh, algae rations. This can be eggplant rations. Fermented soybeans. And then you can be fermented cassava for now. And you're just waiting on the platforms to be built so that you can have access to your uh, path. So that should be good. Now these should be set to supply, right? Right? No. Just a no, just regular. Maybe. I'm probably wrong. Wait, where did we get four more beavers? We have four more. Huh. Two flooded buildings. Oh, I forgot to have them finish this. Okay, you guys need to come up here and pick this dirt or this mess up and then uh, we need to get you guys to finish the last two that's a few logs do I care about a few logs probably not but I'm going to not get rid of them because reasons 27 let's go that's a new high for us so that probably would have saved us a bit more water had that no, not flown, flooded out that side a little bit. Who knows? Wow, I just realized how long of a bad or drought drought we're going to be having. <laughs> it gave us a 4 or 15 day drought. And then it's going to drop a 25 day drought on us afterwards. Okay, game. I see you. I see what you're trying to do here. You're trying to test me. You're trying to see if I have the capacity, the capability, and the know-how to do great things for beavery kind here. I, I appreciate the challenge, and I accept it. Okay, I accept your challenge. Get those in, give that a priority bump. Now, that being the case, that means this is nearing completion? No, we're waiting on sparkly planks. And you guys aren't putting the dynamite in because you're building all of this. Um, which is fine. I will accept that. One unconnected building. Yep, okay. Noted. Done. You're injured. Wow, you got tiny. You got really hurt. Matsuka, you got hurt. Sam890124. You're so hurt too. Sus. You guys. Okay. Cool. Um. I keep, I keep moving priorities around. But, uh, how are we? They haven't done any of this. They haven't done any of this. Do I want them to continue working on our storage system here? Or do I want them to continue power? I think power is a priority. Power is priority over storage. Because we're doing all right. All right on storage, right? Other than coffee beans, like we have a lot of the base storage requirements floating around as it is. What we really need is, well, no, these are doing pretty good too, honestly. Yeah, everything's got a good chunk of storage available to it. And this will just add a little bit more. That should help with like the distribution problem, maybe, potentially, allegedly, who knows. I'm probably, probably wrong on uh on this occasion as i am with any other occasion when it comes to anything that happens within this game anyway priorities all of the priorities so priorities let's do the things that make sense that totally don't make sense but we're gonna pretend like they do um that's 400 and this takes 200. would it make sense for me to do something like this the answer is probably no, but you know what? I'm crazy. <laughs> um, we'll we'll allow it. We'll allow it. So this we'll put in another excavator. It's probably not going to help anything because our limfac is extract. Um. Maybe what we can do is turn this into the extract factory. That might be a smart idea, honestly. Since this is where it's being produced. 
Or all the bad water anyway. Uh, yeah, we could do that. We just need power up here. Uh, which is totally feasible. It's just a matter of getting all the required items for an engine, which shouldn't cost too much. They've got the gears pretty much and the metal blocks and everything. Yeah, that's that's feasible. Totally doable. Okay, so where do we want to put this though? Maybe up here? And you guys need something to do at night. I'm sorry. I should have given you guys something to do. Um Do it do that right there. Yeah. That should be good. And then we'll do on water side centrifuge. Flip that like that. And then we can tear out this path like so. Probably a little bit more. Cool. This is all in an effort to get power running properly, I guess, because we need the dirt in order to manipulate this. We need the explosives to manipulate all this. We need a lot of things to get things working properly. Might help if we plussed up this side. Because there is bad water sitting here. So that means they're not pulling from this because it's all sitting on this side. Because none of the none of the runners are actually maneuvering the bad water. So maybe that's where we'll start pumping some of these additional bodies. That should help things out a little bit. How is this looking? So this is our first test case for all of this. It's looking pretty good. Tear out a lot of these paths and everything, and then we can have a lot of trees over here. A lot, a lot of trees. And this is a long route too, so it would only make sense that we get to take full advantage of testing out our new river that runs through it to see how long this, well, first our our irrigation plot, if you will, for this entire plateau terrace. And then, uh, yeah, see how long this stays filled. Now, we should know that it's probably going to dry out here within the next two-ish days. So we're, we'll keep an eye on it to see if that's the truth or not. I think that's going to be the truth. Um, that's that's all fine and dandy. How are we doing over here? This is going in. We have to... Oh, no, we just have Cape Boochster working that side. How much in the way of housing? We have space for two more over here. Let's bring over two more beavers. And then that should help us there. Now, everybody's occupied. Everybody's housed. So that should not be a problem. And that means all of that's filled. And then all of this is nearly full. And bad water is moving out now appropriately. So that's good. Things are looking hecka Gucci right now. I am very excited about this. And we have more than 50. We have 59 haulers over guys 59 haulers doing amazing hauling things we do have a spare beaver again where i do not know over here um spare beaver gets hey look it's a me i'm the spare beaver let's go okay so that's full on both sides that means that Food and water stuff should be transitioning through these things fairly regularly, right? So this is, why are you guys pulling? Is that going in? Now, I don't know. So, okay, that's importing. They're importing coffee, importing metal blocks. They're importing fermented soybeans. Okay, you guys are Im importing canola seeds, corn, eggplants, scrap metal, and soybeans. That makes sense. Because that's what these guys are producing. So that's good. So eggplants are over here. Corn's over here. Kohlrabi's not going anywhere because we don't have much in the way of kohlrabi production. Dirt has stalled over here, though. Well, it's not necessarily that it's stalled. It's just that this is going in slowly. Um, but once we get... This in, give that a max priority. I can take this out and we can 
come down over here or something and work that way. Um, I, I did give... Oh, no, it was this these guys over here. I didn't give these... Where, where am I? There we go. Didn't give these guys something to do at night. They need some entertainment at night. So, that would be a campfire. Right there. Um, probably two for giggles. Uh, let's throw in a... Uh, uh, let's go with beaver bust right here. They can wake up in the morning staring down a wonderful beaver bust like that. Be like, That'll be their good luck charm. Just walk out, give it a nice little, uh, little high five and be like, alright. Thanks, Johnny. We've got it today. Thanks for watching the house. It'd be something like that. And this beaver's bust, and this bust of the beaver shell forever be known as Johnny. And Johnny will be the good luck charm, because Johnny be good, okay? Johnny be good. So that's going in. That's going to require planks, gears, and metal blocks. That's cool. These guys are in here. We've got all the required material. It's all close by, so I'm not too concerned with the, with the builders actually... Doing the hauling of their materials, that's fine. That is good enough for me. We're uh, eight days in, and this is still kind of there. And shortly here, that's going to reach below that water line, and we'll actually get to see a good idea as to how well this irrigates this plateau. Solo. Uh, do have a spare beaver floating around somewhere. Again, not here. Is it over here? How would we have a spare one over here? Did somebody get stuck? No. Nobody got stuck. We have a few injuries. We have a lot of injuries. My goodness. Okay. How is this coming along? Eh, yeah, that's why nothing else is going to accomplish. Because I told him to do this. I feel terrible. Okay. It's okay. This is okay. But everybody's happy. Look at them. Look at them doing little beavery things. Look at that. They're just enjoying their time. Got some guys back getting their back scratched. We've got some beavers swimming, getting some exercise on. We've got these little guys down here. You know, somebody's actually doing exercises with their hauling gear on, which is crazy to me. Look at them. Aw. How did he teleport through? Okay, no, he didn't. That was somebody getting out of the uh, swimming pool. You can hear the crickets in the background. That's hilarious. Oh, you just barely hear them doing anything. Oh, it sounds like a back scratcher. I love it. I love the detail in each of these little assets that they've put into this game. It's it's great. It's it's really fun. I approve this message. I thoroughly, thoroughly approve this message. Okay. Um get back up to speed so we can Continue the game along so we don't get lost in translation, if you will. Okay, what else were we working on? This is slowly going in, I guess. Um, yeah, this is all going in too. It looks like I, I may they may have stopped doing that to come work on this, but they're. They're out of dirt, and I bet you the majority of the dirt's on this side. And three's on that side, and 12 is on this side. So we're just not meeting the dirt requirement. Because we're not meeting the extract requirement, because extract is going into various other things. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not. Um, hopefully we can get this rectified. Okay, that's in, so we can or not worry about this path anymore. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Tear this out. And then tear out that path like so. Tear this path out as well. Give this a priority, max priority. And then... Um... How do we want to get up there? 
Now, I was looking at it before, and I thought that was going to line up nicely, but I was mistaken. But that shouldn't be a problem. That just means we're going to have to come in here, hit these trip, hit this triple button, pull that across here. Nope. Come on, game. There we go. Not like that one. Um, yeah, like that. And then should be able to accomplish that relatively easily. Once all of this is in, we can throw in our last set of platforms right there, and then we could throw this bad Johnny in, uh, which is in landscaping. There we go. Dirt excavator. Flip that around. That will go in there. And then maybe at some point we'll move those guys out of there and move that down here so we can have a deeper hole for even more water storage. I don't think that that's going to help us in any way, honestly, but, you know, maybe, maybe at some point, just because we don't want these filling with water so that we can keep this, this side full longer so that we can facilitate the mo movement of water this way. Maybe that's what we need to do. I am not sure. I am not sure at all. But that is something for future me to solve. Not today. I don't think we're to that point quite yet. And I don't think that we need to solve all the world's problem in a single episode of Timberborn Z. Okay. I think it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited with where we're at right now. Like, I, we no longer have to be concerned about the, the menial things, if that makes sense. About food, water, everything. Now it's just we're playing with the map. We're, we're molding the map into whatever way that we want it to be, which means that, well, we haven't necessarily beat it. We've definitely conquered it and molded what we need of it to our will, which means we did a pretty good job in my book, I'd like to say. Yes, it was scary. It was touch and go there for a second because, well, we had the, we, we had the sacrifice um, that occurred, sadly. Um, but we haven't had to deal with that since, so I'd say that we're doing pretty good up until this, up until this point, like, like right now. We've got 6.8 thousand units of water. We've got a lot of water saved up in here. Okay. Yes, I probably should increase the max storage capacity, because 10,000 technically is enough to keep... 225 beavers alive for 10 days. Yes, this is this is a fair statement. And we are getting to the point where we're pushing towards 30-day droughts. Yes. Look how much water we have stored up here. I say that knowing full well exactly what happened during the Helix Mountain playthrough. <laughs> um... But, you know... It, this is, this is different. This is different this time, you know, because we've got all this water over here to play with. So if this dries out, we could pump this out. You see? You see? We're doing great things. Tear that out. No more kits. No more kits. All adults. Like that. Is this in yet? You're just waiting on 26 more treated planks. And we have... So many injured beavers. Jeez Louise. Okay, all of that's in. That's good. So we can tear this path out. Like that. Go ahead and place this down. Is that a priority bump now? Get that accomplished. Then we can just put our stairs in right here. And then this will all be a nice workable area for us. Power. We can come in over here. Now, hold up. Hold up. Science is good, so I'm not concerned with this. So that's 150. Another 250. So we're going to need three of these. That's 450 right there. That's uh, it. That's already pushing into the two-engine territory. 
And then the bot assembler is another 250, so that's five, 700. So that's definitely two assemblers right there. And then we're going to have to start putting charging stations everywhere. And each of these take up 50 horsepower a piece. Um, which means we're going to have to have pop-up stations everywhere for our beavers that are going to be working. However, right now, I think the majority of our beavers are going to be working in the excavator here and in the mine here. Or all of our timber bots, I should say. So if we just get the 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 um um um, um charging stations connected up with all this situation, all this over here, the staffing and the charging of those bots shouldn't be a problem. So, how is this coming along? It's not. They are slowly filling this in, it looks like. I think they did that. Did they do that? Maybe. Give that a bump. Dirt's moving in the positive direction again. Probably because we stopped using so much of it somewhere. Maybe? I'm not sure. That's barely getting dirt in, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, dirt's coming in in units of, or three units at a time. I think that's the max capacity that a beaver can do it? I don't know. Um, that is going in. That's just waiting on treated planks. So treated planks are our limb fact right now. That's no fun. Um, that's a double right there. And that can our there's up. And then that can go in like so. And there we go. Now a smart, rational person would probably do something like this. So they don't have to go down and around to feed in all of the systems. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's uh, give that a priority bump. Because they need access in order to actually put all that in. That should allow for some of the treated planks to actually catch up with the entire system. For now, since I just gave or blocked their access to those, I think. Right? I did block their access? No, they're putting it in from up top. Okay, that's fine. I will allow it. Decoration. Let's, uh... These guys can work, or... Uh, work with him. You know, just overseeing all their activities. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it at all. Should make them happy. And happy beaver, you know. It always comes back to that. Do we have happy beavers? The answer is yes, for the most part. For the most part. <laughs> 16 have a beaver bust somewhere. Is it just you guys? Did you build your beaver bust? You did. I approve. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Oh, we do need haulers on this side. Ew. Um, That's in, that's in. Entertainment's in for them a little bit. Probably somehow finagle that in. And then this can be their entertainment for the evening. Over here, well-being. Rooftop terraces. Like that. Like that. That could go like so. And then on this side in here, or up here. Probably better up here. Throw in our haulers. Hauling post, we just need one. That can go right here. Put that down to one worker in there. We could probably pull from the uh, the district center, which should not be an issue. Um, and next, for this entire district, probably tear this out and move it over here because this is all irrigated and that's prime real estate for our farming. Now that we've got power up here, which feeds into this, which I don't recall how much that takes, 200, so we could probably put in a second one. That's 400 power produced. Um, this is a priority over that down there, though. So please accomplish that. Uh, we have another beaver that's doing nothing somewhere over here. 
Okay, um... Where can I put an additional beaver? I have no idea. Uh, nothing there. I guess over here? All of our work positions are filled. We have a bunch of injured beavers, so he... We are filling those in, backfilling those in. As needed. Um... Maybe... Uh... You know what? This is constantly green down here. Put that there. That reaches all the way out to there. And now we can we can put in... Oh, how's this doing? Okay, so that's not that much in the way of irrigation. Yeah. And it it, it is actually evaporating pretty fast in there. Or no, it's not evaporating that fast. I should I should be honest. It's gone down about an eighth. Or maybe even a quarter, probably a quarter of a block in seven ish days. That's not too egregious, but still our irrigation doesn't go near as far as I'd like it to. Like this is keeping a lot of this irrigated back in here, right? And that's keeping all of this irrigated out to here, but, you know, that's not much. Probably need to blast that out right there. Actually, we'll blast this one out. Um, yeah, that, that needs to be blasted out. That should help. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, that's going in... This is going in... Where are we? Right here. So that's good. The path is in. Waiting on a bunch of treated planks. So. What can we do to help with our treated plank production? Prioritize. Will that help? Roadside, sus. Do you need some help here, guys? Are we out of pine resin? No, we're not out of pine resin. We're fine on pine resin. Probably do with some more storage for pine resin. So let's grab one of these. Uh, no. Maybe. I'm not sure. Pine resin is moving in the right direction though, so I can't be too upset with that. You go all the way out to there, so I'll grab something like that. Then set all of that to be cut. And then put in our lumberjack flags. That should cover down fairly easily. Those two there, hopefully that doesn't prevent our forester from doing that. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but let's see here. What are they working on right now in the background while everything's going? Oh my goodness, I just looked at the time. Oh my. How long has that been drying? Not at all. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so things are good-ish. Things are good-ish. Things are moving in the right direction now. Go ahead and pause you as a whole. There we go. Prioritized by haulers. Now you've got Lulabelle doing the things. So this should help with our extract production. We probably need to throw in a, uh, a storage tank here. I could do that right now. Uh, I just paused the builder, so let's go ahead and pull two out of there. And that should keep everything moving properly. And they can build these things so that can get accomplished. Um, that should help with our extract and bad water production. Hopefully. Because that's I, I want to say that's our limiting factor. I'm not entirely sure. This is going in, so this is good. Just waiting on treated planks. Again, another thing that's waiting on a single point of failure item. Which I thought we had a kajillion of, which we did, and then we put all this in. So that burned through our, uh, a metric ton of our treated planks. I accept responsibility for that. This is necessary in order for these guys to maintain a, a longer, happier uh, beaver settlement over here. we got to keep them happy happier than normal right they can't just be at a one 
well-being. Otherwise, none none of the things would get accomplished. Um, this is, I would say, a success. All of this went across here just fine. Fed over here. We probably need to expand this just a, a hair because right now the it, it's it's not meeting the intent, if you will. A, a lot of it, or we almost had a a flood, which we don't want to have happen. But that's uh, something that we can work on. That's not too bad. This is going in. So we can start on the next episode, we could start actually throwing in all of the power production, all of the, the bot manufactory facilities, get all of that running. That means we're going to have to bust up our gears and our plank and our metal production facilities, which we're going to do coincidentally with everything like that. That also means we're going to have to put some storages and stuff like that over here because it's going to require... Uh, treated planks, gears, and explosives to actually get into this, uh, mine right here. But, uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And by, by next episode, all, by the end of next episode, this entire facility over here should be up and running. Which I'm very excited about. Things are moving in a positive direction, and I couldn't be happier about that. I hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. I have been having a blast building this with you, doing all of this with each and every one of you. I appreciate you all hanging out with me. Um, I'm going to start stop blathering now because I have been going on for the past hour in some change. So I'm going to wish you guys a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Make sure you have a fantastical time. Remember to stay hydrated, my, my friends. Stay thirsty, my friends, and keep your beaver nice and hydrated as well. Guys, keep rocking the free world. I'm going to get out of here. See ya!